the much anticipated Fourier trial was a big success in showing a benefit of dramatic lowering of LDL cholesterol in high risk patients in the prevention of cardiovascular events. We've known the big LDL lowering and the big question was would that translate into clinical benefit and we saw today that yes it does. Uh, we, this study was a 27,000 patient study, high risk, so known disease with other risk factors, on statin therapy with reasonable control of LDL, so the maximal oral therapy that could be given, and then looked at adding on evolocumab uh, on top of that. The cholesterol went from on average 90 to 30, so unprecedented low levels and the clinical benefit really paralleled that. It was a relatively short duration trial for these lipid lowering trials with a mean of just two and a half years. And so over that period, the overall reduction was 15% for their five part primary endpoint and then cardiovascular death and my stroke was a 20% reduction. And interestingly, as they looked, the first year, as we would expect, was a 16% reduction and then 25% beyond a year. And that's more in keeping with what we were expecting to see. And so they saw a very early benefit, but one getting bigger over time. One of the big impediments is a higher cost for this injectable therapy, and so trying to target this to the higher risk patients who will get benefit will be probably the focus of uh, a lot of the analyses to follow. But now we know there's a clear benefit that this is something we will want to offer for patients who can't currently get good control of the LDL. It also points to potentially new lower target LDL. So on average, they got to 30. Well, we've been talking about getting to below 70. Well, they left that in the dust. And um, so should we be aiming for these high-risk patients less than 50 and you know into that range of 30? I think that will be another key point for discussion. Then a final aspect of this is safety. And one is worried is it safe to go to super low cholesterols? And the answer is yes. They saw really no difference in any side effect. Muscle aches was a worry, neurocognitive events, new onset diabetes, none of that was increased with the use of evolocumab in the study. Uh, and so really a wonderful safety profile that backs up this, this benefit that's seen. So we're now entering, I think, a new era in trying to adopt very aggressive lipid lowering down to really low levels. And it will be incumbent on us as doctors to work with our patients to use the less expensive oral therapies when we can and then try and introduce this as we can for the high risk patients that benefit ahead. So a great, uh, a great day in cardiology.